Since taking office, the president has spent eight consecutive weekends away from the White House, not at the White House, instead at his various Trump resorts, including what has been deemed the Winter White House, of course, his Palm Beach Resort, Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago is also the name now, it's actually the acronym for new legislation the Democrats have just rolled out in the House and Senate. They want to know who's meeting with the president when he's away from the White House. Here is the actual name of the legislation for you. Prepare yourself. It is the Making Access Records Available to Lead American Government Openness Act. Yep, that's it. It would force the White House to create an online database of every person who visits anywhere the president conducts official business. Getting past the ridiculousness of the name, let's talk about the substance of what they're asking for. Joining me now is CNN contributor and Washington Post reporter David Farenthold. David, it's great to see you. You too. So from everything that you've seen, David, is this a fair request? Have other presidents rolled out visitor logs of their weekend travel in the past? Well, other presidents have not really had a parallel situation to Mar-a-Lago. Uh, President Obama did release some of the uh, visitor records, people coming to, to and from the White House, although not all. He didn't release sort of guests at parties and things like that. Right. Mar-a-Lago is where Trump lives. It's where he does business, but it's also uh, a a pub, sort of semi-public place, a place with its own members, a place that rents its ballrooms out for gatherings, galas, weddings. Um, and the Trump himself seems to treat like the party guests as sometimes as people he'll meet with. So that he doesn't maintain a bright line between what he's doing there as business and what he's doing as sort of pleasure. Um, so if you got this, you'd get a whole lot of people that had nothing to do with the president, uh, but you might get a few people who had actually had incidental or real contact with the president while they, while they were there.